The South End will always hold a special place in my heart. I live in this part of Horry County with my wife and two daughters, and this area is where I call home. When I think of the South End, I think of family-friendly beaches and live oaks with Spanish moss. Just south of Myrtle Beach is Surfside Beach, nicknamed the Family Beach. With seven area parks and wide sandy beaches, Surfside is a great place to call home. My family and I live in Surfside, and we love living the golf cart lifestyle. We can go to dinner, the water park, the beach, all on our golf cart. There are oceanfront homes and condo opportunities in Surfside, along with chances to own your own little beach bungalow just a few avenues back from the Strand. Garden City Beach has been a destination for families for generations. I helped countless folks move here who say they wanted to capture the magic of past vacations. The Garden City Pier is a great place for fishing and also a great place to listen to local bands while enjoying a cocktail. My kids love playing in the arcade and crabbing from the little pier along the causeway. If you're looking for a great beach town getaway, Garden City should be near the top of your list to check out. Merle's Inlet is home to some of the best restaurants and seafood in our area. Continuing south on Waccamaw Drive past Garden City, this area of Murrow's Inlet includes beachfront homes on one side and homes on the creek on the other side. On the other side of the inlet, on the Highway 17 corridor, you begin entering the Low Country and the magnificent Marsh Walk. Dozens of restaurants and shops along a beautiful wooden boardwalk are a must-stop destination while you're here. Murrow's Inlet's communities among the live oaks are perfect for retirees, families, and especially popular with avid fishermen. The school district for this area includes St. James High School. Recognized by the state as a Palmetto's Finest Award winner multiple times, it's one of the best schools in the entire state. The Burgess community along Highway 707 includes some of my favorite neighborhoods and is constantly growing with new opportunities for places to live. The Prince Creek area is home to the TPC Golf Course and some of the most prestigious and exclusive gated communities in the area. Further south and past Huntington Beach State Park and Brook Green Gardens is the beach town of Litchfield. Made up of North Litchfield and Litchfield by the Sea, this area has more in common with Hilton Head than with Myrtle Beach, with upscale private clubs boasting quiet charm. It's much more laid back featuring boutiques, gourmet restaurants, and ancient live oaks. Pauley's Island is 25 miles south of Myrtle Beach and only 70 miles north of Charleston. Previously home to rice plantations, Pauley's Island is known for being arrogantly shabby, upscale, but unsophisticated. Pauley's Island is a geographical island that is accessible only by the north and south causeways. This exclusive island is the quintessential beach community with unspoiled beaches. As the area grew, the mainland area between Highway 17 and the Waccamaw River is now also considered Pauley's Island. The communities here offer a slower pace in an area rich with history and southern charm. Along the south end of the Grand Strand are some of the most prestigious golf courses, including Caledonia, True Blue, Wachesaw, the Founders Club, Pauley's Plantation, and those are just a few. I'm here as a local guide to help you make the best decision for you and your family when buying or selling properties in our area. I was put on this earth to make a difference in the lives of others. God gives me opportunities to impact lives through real estate. My name is Luke Anderson, and I'm here to help.